In a few other tutorials, I have used the spread operator, and this will be another example of using that operator. Now, if you need to determine a maximum number or a minimum number from an array of numbers, the spread operator can make this simple. We will take a look at the solution in this tutorial. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. If you needed to determine either the maximum or minimum number from an array of numbers, how would you go about it? I know when I was new to JavaScript, I would have used a loop, which is probably the most difficult approach. The math object in JavaScript has a min and a max method that is used to get the minimum or maximum number from a list of numbers. Let's look at that first, and then we'll take a look at how we can use this with an array. So if I open up the console, and let's say, let's try min first. So here's the math object, dot min. That's how we access the min method. And then you can determine the minimum number from a list of numbers. In this case, we just have two. And it tells us that one's the minimum. Max is the exact same way. And this time I'll use a much larger list of numbers. So the list can be several. It doesn't have to be just two numbers. And so the max of this list of numbers is 90. So now that works great. However, if we're trying to do it with an array, let's say I have the exact same thing except the list of numbers are part of an array. So if we're trying to do that with an array, we get NAN return. Because basically, the max or the min method look at the data that's passed in and they say, well, this isn't a number, this is an array. So since it's not a number, I can't do anything with it. So it doesn't look inside the array, it simply looks at what is being passed in. And so therefore, it doesn't work for us. But both of these methods would be really slick to use if you have an array of numbers and you want to get the minimum or maximum number. Now the spread operator can make this work for us. The spread operator basically converts an array to a list of values. So you can think of it this way. It spreads the array out into its individual values. So let's look at the same thing we just did, but let's use the spread operator. Now the spread operator is simply three periods, like that. So it looks like an ellipse. And so those three periods are going to cause this array to show its individual values. Then Max will be able to work on that because it can work on a list of values, a list of values that are numbers. And so let's go ahead and see how that one works out. So that returns 90, just like we'd expect. So that works great. So let me set up another array here. And this time we're going to use the min. If I do math.min, and then here's the array. That's not going to work on that. That's going to give that NAN because of what we talked about before. But if I use the spread operator, I can spread out those values. And then it will find the minimum number, which is negative 789. So that works great. Now, what if you were doing work, you're doing JavaScript work for browsers that don't support ES6? How would you do this? How would you approach this same problem? Well, a loop is still more complicated than what you could do. And that's using the apply method of functions. Now, apply is available for all functions. It's very similar to call. It is part of the prototype of functions. Basically, it is another way to invoke a function. So we can use apply to invoke the min or max method of the math object. We use that to invoke them. Now, the advantage of using apply to invoke it is that apply allows us to pass all of the arguments into that function or method as an array. So now you can see how that might be applicable to what we're trying to solve here. We have an array of numbers, 
if we want to pass those into the max or min method in the way that max or min is expecting to receive them, we can use apply to do that. So let's just take a look at an example of apply in case you run in a situation where you need where you're not able to use the spread operator. So we still have our array, ARR. We still have that created. Let's do math.min. Now, as I said, apply is available on all functions. It's part of the prototype. So we can access apply from min. And then I'm going to pass in null. The first parameter of apply is what you are using for the value of this. Now, the value of this is not critical in this particular application, so we can pass in null. We don't need anything assigned to it. We could also pass in math, the math object, but I'm going to pass in null and then I'll pass in the array. All of the arguments that are expected by min can be passed in using an array when we use apply. All right, let's see if that returns what we want. And that works. So we could use max the exact same way. Now that's a way we could still accomplish finding the minimum or maximum number without resorting to a loop and having to keep track of information in a loop to determine it. And this is what we would use if we could not use the spread operator. But I love the spread operator. It's a great feature that came with ES6. Now before we're done here, please hit the like button. It can help others on YouTube find this tutorial. Also hit the bell button to be notified about new tutorials. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for a full course and a complete list of all tutorials. Thanks for watching.